When I browse in my memory, the most beautiful thing I can see there is you. Wait, that movie? I mean, it was good, but I don't know if it's favorite movie good. My favorite movie changes all the time. Who knows, maybe the next movie we see will be my favorite. Hold up. That means I get another date? It always amazes me that one single smile can make the whole world disappear. Sometimes, I wish I was able to freeze time so I could just look at you for as long as I can. I am absolutely sure that our souls gravitate towards one another. I vow to you that I will not take our time for granted. I will spend every second loving you. Because you continue to love me, even in times when I was being unlovable and unforgivable. Hey, I, I have a really bad feeling about this, okay? Maybe you should just get your degree in medicine, like your dad always wanted. And, and you already got accepted. Most importantly, that means that we'll be together. We will be together. The distance won't change that. Sam, we talked about this. Maybe I should just go with you. What are you gonna do in LA? All I know is that I want to be with you. Sam, please, stop. I'll text you when I land. Airport, please. There is not a single day that goes by when I don't think about you. I vow to take care of you and to support you until the rest of our lives. I vow always to tell you the truth, regardless of if it hurts, and be your sparkle in times when the world hits its darkness. Pete is here. Finally. Did I miss a line? I think you missed one. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm perfect. Pizza! Surprise! Hey! <laughs> I, I couldn't find your building, I just... Oh, uh, Rachel, this is Samantha. Samantha, this is Rachel. Uh, hi. Hi. Hey. You should have told me you were coming. Then I could have gone to pick you up. It wouldn't have been a surprise then. I vow to cherish what we have and to be thankful that I was lucky. Lucky enough to be with the most beautiful and kind woman on this earth. Samantha? Valentine? You've changed a bit. Right. Yeah. Um, how are you? I I heard you were on that uh, that TV show. What's it called? Yeah. Monkeys. Monkeys in the desert. Yeah. Monkeys in the desert. That's that's amazing. I'm I'm really happy for you. I mean, look at you, a big movie star. Huh? I'm not really a movie star. Looks like you picked up a new hobby. This? This is a birthday gift for my niece. For your niece? <laughs> I don't remember you having a niece. I'm pretty sure this is for you. This is definitely for me. <laughs> We're cute uh, together. Yeah. Um, oh, Richard, this is my old friend, Valentine. Uh, Valentine, this is my husband, Richard. Huh. Hey, nice to meet you. It was great seeing you, Sam. Yeah, you too.
Greek philosopher Plato believed that everyone has been split in half and that the quest in life is to find that missing person. But I think it's not just to find it, but to keep it and never let go. this for me? Do you know what these colors mean in literature and poetry? No. Yellow means joy, green is harmony, white is perfection, and pink is love. So you're my joy, my harmony, and my perfect love. 